bite today for brunch. And yeah, I haven't been here in a while. So hopefully it'll be good. what we've seen but I'm not sure if anywhere else in Calgary has it yet but I see it trending so you'll probably see these a lot more. John got his ears. Here's John. <laughs> Foundations? No, nope, nope, we're nope. not. Nope, where are we? Where are we? So there's an art gallery upstairs. As you can see. It's beautiful. We've been there. Bush in studio. Let's go. Boom. I want to take you there. Here we go. <laughs> I will have this one day, maybe. Hmm, I like the concept of the clear fridge, so I don't have to keep opening it and closing it for no reason. So <laughs> I can just look at what's inside. <laughs> So today is the Commonwealth Collectors Club. So 6th Street is gonna be there. I'm so excited, but we have to go to church first. So I hope they still have some smalls left. I'd be so sad. And then John's very tired today. Overslept? Uh. Too much board games last night. Love the hat, Sixth Street, support local. I wish they still had the Troublemakers line. I'm not sure if you guys remember my tank. It has like the base clef and the treble clef together. It's really nice to be black hat with a blue emblem. I wish they still had it, but this is still really nice. I'm really happy. And I'll show you what else we got. Yeah, I apologize for the background. John is watching his b-ball, the b-ball. So I love this, I love this emblem here. Focus here. And then we also found Even Odds Collective. They have really nice hats too. So we got this one too. I like it. I'll be wearing more hats. So yeah. So I also got a Lolo bar. I love the healthy baking. I'm happy that Calgary is heading towards that direction. So it's vegan, dairy free, gluten free, etc. etc. So there are, they just come in packages like this, two different bars. They're really yummy and tasty. John wouldn't try any, but he's totally missing out. <laughs> I also love how all the ingredients include sunshine and love. My favorite thing. Can we eat this? Of course, we have to stop by Metrovino. We always get Hitachinos, usually the red rice. Or John's been looking for the, the wizen. 
It's pretty expensive though, but these beers are really good. I love the red rice one and also the ginger. Elite's Dragonstone, it's a Riesling. It's a great go-to. Everyone likes it, it's sweet, it's nice. It's affordable. So yeah, that's all. That's, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's okay. Great. The angry gamer lives. Yeah. The rage lives. <laughs> so my friend Ara used to work here. So I know Chingu. Yes. I had to say that. So love you, Ara. Let me sit back and enjoy the view. Close my eyes, imagine how we used to do. We've gotten so far. You see these old scars. Got this mental picture that I gotta go far. Close my eyes, imagine. Yeah, Mike Tell, and I gotta let you know that words that leave tongues create prisons if you let it. A curse to breach jumps. Good morning, so starting school. Again today, my last semester. <laughs> this is my last semester. I just um just lazy. I was so happy with this month off. So yeah. so I have my daily dose of matcha. And yeah, we'll see if I record anything during classes because that's kind of awkward. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so I'm getting massage before class again, and so I got cupping last week, and I still still have them. Yeah, so I'm gonna look abused, used and abused again. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, so hopefully it helps. I'm gonna see, um, chat with her, see if I should go see a doctor. Maybe uh, go to physio. Because I need this to get better. I feel like crap. I haven't lifted anything heavy in such a long time. It's just such an awful feeling. Alright, so just came back from teaching a class and. They got sweaty and sparky, and I think they liked it. Um, thank you to Lara for giving us instructors the idea. It's pretty much Tabata. So I actually, I don't know why I never thought of this, because I did take a Tabata class specifically, and it just makes you sweat and breathe really hard. So yeah, so pretty much my butt is broken. So. When I injured myself, my glute max kind of just turned off. So then my piriformis took over. So that hypertrophied um, over the last two months and it's actually pushing on my, it's probably pushing on my sciatic nerve, which is why there's constantly firing of crap on the lower back. So, yes! Uh, kind of sucks, but I need to get this fixed. So, mm. so we had a long break and we're exploring because we kind of lost, lost now. <laughs> Everybody know my fucking name. Now I need to just live my life, so I let him talk.